Cool, man. Mm. Hello. Cool, man. We're doing another wheel video. Crazy, man. This yeah. one with Noah. First time you're in a little wheel rest, though, eh? Wow. First we did the Mark IIs, then we did the Mesh. And now we're doing Ben's Mark Threes. Yeah. Relip and how to relip. Yeah. So I got these lips from Fine. I did this on my long champs, so I know that it's it's okay to do this. So you can see my old ones there. From those were from my five volt long champs I had on my Mark II. But yeah, so we're gonna chop these bad boys off at home. No lathe, the human lathe, and then slap these on. It's gonna be really cool. Cool man. How to relip your wheels at home without a lathe? DIY and zero experience. Yeah. I'm zero getting, knowledge of anything. Yeah. The only thing I'm gonna do different this time is last time I used like you know like the caulking guns that like you like press the button and it like shoots mm. the thing through. I use like house material and it like as soon as I put air in the tires it all looked like the bubbled up out there. It didn't seal and that really sucked. And then I duct taped it and then it sealed. Well yeah, because regular caulking is kind of squishy. Yeah, it's never it's really, really rock hard. What's the uh, what's the rundown of materials you need to do this? An angle grinder and like a chisel and a hammer. And that's it. And then to seal it again? Seal it again, I just, I'm just gonna use like the Permatex clear RTV. Cool, man. Pull your hardware. Hardware removal. Hardware delete. Fucking uh -huh. fuck hardware. Oh, buddy, live in a palace. Shut the fuck up. Alexander up. McQueen, he was keeping me stylish. Now that's real, real man. Fight. Dressed to kill. We've got the hamar, the chisel, the hardware is out for the most part. What do you, do you hammer? Circumcised, circumcised, circumcised. Well, lost the hardware for that. Well, you can use this video as a gauge to so whether you can do it or not, because as you can probably tell, the three of us are pretty fucking dumb, so. What? <laughs> if they work out in this video, that means you can probably do it well, yourself Ben's too. Before. Ben's actually really smart. Ben's See, the thing is, Ben believes. Yeah. If you just believe the worst will happen not bad, then it'll be good. Is there a trick to this? Well, last time I did this, I bolted it on the car and then put it in fifth and then held a blade right on the weld. So that like perfectly went to go around. But that took a really long time and then I was like, why don't I just perfectly roll it on the ground? And perfectly then, roll it with this fucking damn <laughs> That's gonna and smooth. Once you get like a little nook, then it's just smooth sailing. It's just kind of like, it's like a guide, yeah. a guide cut. And so what weld are you going off? You're going off the so, closest one. Yeah, so there's the inner barrel weld and then there's the outer. So there's two welds. You want to weld the one that's for the outer. You want to weld it? Or cut the weld. I think we need to cut more, but let's see. If it if it is cut enough, it'll start to crack down that little seam there. Maybe not. He needs a little more. A little more. Yeah. Ben Nye, the modding guy. Ben, 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 Ben. You can see, there's a crack in there. I think what I did is I cut a little bit too high. So the seam is like a little bit farther down than the cut that I made. But it's close enough there. Uh, give, me, give me some fucking coins! <laughs> cool, man. And then do you hang oh, around this time? Now. I didn't have to last time, but I cut it in the right spot last time. You can see I cut it, and it should have been like more inwards because but i mean it's better to cut like that than yeah i'd rather mess cut up into the this face than, yeah oh fuck i was throwing it back so hard i was like <laughs> that's wow. what that looked like cool man flapper this edge down ben said last time he did it on his long champs he cut it right on the weld so there wasn't this edge so if you do it correct you won't have to do that but um yeah we'll give this the, the old flabber gas and then uh sandblast it Blast it! Flapper 
through it. Now you're going to sandblast the face. Yeah. Get it all nice and clean in there. Yeah. Right on, Ben. Right on. Fresh out the blaster. Clean, man. Nicely done. Yeah, it's fine. You're going to make it paint it. Yeah. Blow it off with some air. Blast some silver and clear it on it. I have clear here. Alright. Back into the other shop. I suppose. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. A discus! I was lucky we didn't damage any parts. Crazy man. Crazy! The final effect. Why don't you just wait for it to dry? <laughs> it takes like five wait minutes for it to dry, man. It just sits right over top. Are you gonna clear it? I think so. You need a bit more paint on it. Yeah, let me, yeah. let me have a count. Wow, oh, Ben, what's good? We doing now? Put the hardware in. I put the hardware in, and then we gotta smack the seal on the end. There. So and you then... painted it, and you clear coated the the face. Yeah. Now you're just slapping the hardware in. Yeah. Let's give it one to ten. How hard would you uh, rate this process? Well, if I did the weld in the right, or the, if I cut the weld in the right spot, I think it would have been a lot easier. I would say five out of ten. Five out of ten. Just for scariness. Scariness adds like three. It seems like a pretty straightforward process. Yeah. Cool, man. And cool results. Because, like, how much would you pay to get these rebuilt by someone? Probably about 3500 bucks. <laughs> plus plus, that, plus yeah. shipping? Yeah. How much do you have total into these wheels? Uh, the lips were 700 Canadian. So, like, 500 US, I guess. I don't know. You, you, already had, you already had the wheels, so... Yeah, the wheels just came in the... Yeah, so 500 bucks, you're getting brand new wheels. Crazy man. Yeah. I remember you guys, plus you gotta buy the wheels. Yeah. yeah. But like, that's still a lot cheaper than getting them rebuilt by someone. Yeah. Professionally. And, yeah. It's good to do it on like smaller spec stuff, because then you don't feel bad about it. Yeah. Yeah, do it on shitty spec. Yeah. If you look... The hardware that I have is like way too long. It looks kind of weird. So I'm gonna get ones that make it look like almost flush like that. But just, just for the meantime, for me to seal it, I want it to be tight and then I'll seal it with this RTV. Oh, it feels slightly wrong. If you wanted like a clean line, the tape thing would have been good, but it's on the inside. Yeah. Never gonna see it. What's on the inside doesn't matter. It's all about looks. <laughs> that, what is that done deal now? Yeah, I think so. We cool, just gotta man. wait for it to dry and then put the tire on. Crazy. Yeah. So you went from what spec to what spec? Well, I was gonna grab the measuring tape so we could see. <laughs> Fuck off, cunt. If I fucking wanna. Nicely done. What's brand new? Basically brand new. It pretty much is brand new. Refresh. Yeah, so buy the wheels you want, buy the lip size you want. Also, if you're getting them off Pine, he'll have like A disc and B disc and you can like add the lip size and it'll tell you like what size it'll be in the end so you can kind of go off that. So then you order the, what you want, get your wheels, split them, bolt these on, Hardware seal, and then you're good. Cool, man. Also, if you don't want to go through this, or you want some wheels to widen, all the Garage Noshi stuff is live. There's still tons of stuff up on the site. Also, the new Moist Boys drop is live. Been live at this point. Yeah, get yourself some swag. Get dripped out. 2020. You gotta be quick too. Whatever most year it is. Of, 
over half of the cup holders and light stickers are already gone. And this is only one day. The drop, when we're filming this video, the drop was yesterday. 24 hours ago. Yes. Shit's almost gone, man. Yeah, so link in the description. Buy some shit. Get it together. Be cool. Come on now. Whoever said money can't buy you coolness? It's never been to www.mb.co. It's actually moistboys.kev. No, it's MB is the URL. Yeah. Have you been on the site? It's MB. Since when? That's what I was saying. It's crazy that we have a two letter uh, domain. I don't know how that happened. Okay, either it's MB or it's Moist Boys. <laughs> okay. Try both. Yeah, if you want to be cool, do that. Cool, man. Cool, man.